freaking morning everybody happy monday how are you doing today well by the time you're watching this it's probably gonna be saturday or sunday but happy monday um my time and good morning my time because that's what i'm filming this um welcome to vlogmas week one i'm currently getting ready to go to class for the day uh the time is 8 20 and i'm about to make breakfast and get something to eat before i head out at about nine i'm filming with a different camera today so if you keep seeing me look to the side i'm using my canon m50 for a lot of uh, the vlogmas videos because i feel like it's just more fun and the autofocus on my canon g7x mark iii is so slow i wish i would have known how slow it was hi good morning Okay, whatever. I wish I would have known how slow the autofocus was on the Mark III because then I just wouldn't have bought it. And I would have kept my Mark II or rebought a Mark II because mine was so broke. Today's gonna be a really chill day. I'm gonna kind of talk about like the video process throughout this whole thing because it's the first time I'm doing weekly vlogmas videos. Um, so I kind of want to talk about that either today or later this week. I mean, I'm gonna see you every day this week, so. But uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead, pack my bag for class, and then we're gonna try to make breakfast. I'm gonna try something new today that i've never had so this should be fun i also want to tell you about this stain that happened before like the weekend before so i spilled well i didn't spill somebody knocked my coffee over and spilled coffee on my floor and just look at how bad this looks it literally looks like ass but anyway um let's go ahead and pack our bag for the day i think i want to bust off the tote This is the outfit. Um, you're probably wondering why are you wearing a crop top in late November, early December? Um, my Princess Polly Pretty Little Thing packages haven't come yet with my outerwear, so this is what we're gonna have to wear for today. So I have this crop top on, which you've probably seen before in Garage. Uh, I have these leggings from Mary, and I just have on some black Nike socks. I think I'm gonna wear them with my dunks. And then I have a black Nike zip up that I'm just going to throw on. It's in the jar. I threw it in the jar so it can be a little bit warm, so I'm gonna grab that. We go downstairs. Um, so let me just throw on my dunks real quick. I don't like how the Nike socks feel. They're just a little bit worn out so i'm going to throw on some low socks i ended up changing my socks because the nike socks just weren't as comfortable in the dunks but we have a very black and white um, outfit today oh, i'm about to head downstairs take mr cashew out to go pee pee so you have to go pee pee you want to go wee you wanna go potty? You wanna go pee? He's in a very happy mood this morning, but I'm gonna quit the chit chat. You guys are probably just tired of seeing my room. We're gonna go downstairs, get, grab my jacket because it's cold as fuck, and then uh, we're gonna go downstairs, find something to eat, and um, we'll see you guys down there. Say bye, bye, bye. bye, -bye. I am in the kitchen. This is one of my many dilemmas or issues that I have with being a student. Um, and that is I never know what the hell I want to eat. Um, and these are expired, so I can't even eat this. What I'm hearing is we're going grocery shopping today or tomorrow. I think that's definitely what I just heard. No, this is expired too. Will I ever know peace? Absolutely not. I ended up just deciding on these two Yoplait yogurts. I'm gonna throw some granola and honey on them. Um, I'm just gonna eat them out the pack instead of put them in the bowl because that's a waste of dishes and I don't feel like cleaning that shit up before I leave. A spoon. Thank you. Spoon me. Thank you. I've been sick one too many times and shouldn't be fucking playing with y'all for real. I just got in my lovely car because um, I actually turned it on to preheat it because right now it's like 40 degrees outside and it's freezing like and to think i have to walk outside to go to my class that's the one thing i miss about high school i swear um like not being forced to walk outside like between buildings like you would have like the trailers and stuff like you'd have to go to class and shit like that but like for me to have to walk from a parking deck outside to my building where the stairs are outside like that is just it's it's sick to me. That is sick. So right now it's 8.58. Um, I am about to 
go to school for the day. Um, I'm gonna go to class today. Of course, that's what we got ready for. I have class today at 10, 10. It's, you know, 8.58 now, so I have like an hour and 10 before I have to be there. I would like to get there really early because the parking deck spots be so ass after like 9.30, so I might as well just, you know, leave a half an hour early to get a parking spot that I don't have to bust my ass over and I get to read as well. I have just arrived to my white establishment that is my university said college. It's currently 9.31. I feel so like not energized for whatever reason. Actually, I know the reason. I didn't make coffee this morning because I'm trying to ease myself off of coffee because I have a severe coffee, not even coffee, caffeine addiction. Sorry, I'm taking off my coffee. When I don't drink coffee, I get a pulsing headache and migraine and I'm really taking I'm really taking a risk this morning by not drinking any considering I'm gonna be at school for longer than I usually am because I'm going to the library today to get some work done just so I can stay ahead of the finals curve and just everything that I have to do in general hopefully this now melted ice water helps me out and gets me through the day because Lord knows I have till about one o'clock before said headache comes on usually that's usually about how long it takes from when I wake up which is around 7 8 it's about 1 to get caffeine in my system but we're gonna see if this helps me out because that is absolutely ridiculous so since i have like 20 minutes to spare i'm gonna start reading this book called black girls must die exhausted for the past month i haven't really read much which is why you haven't hear heard me speak about books too often because I just, I was really very not drawn to any books or anything that I had, um, even if no matter if I bought new ones, I would, I would want to read them, then I bought them, bring them home, and I don't want to read them anymore. So I'm going to force myself to start reading again, because social media can be my only hobby. I feel intentionally going to the library. What I didn't have an intention on was how hungry I was gonna be when I got out of class. It's literally 11 o'clock, I'm ready for my second meal of the day. Baiting if I should go to Starbucks to do work because I have recently just started becoming a whore of doing work at Starbucks. Like, I love doing work at Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks, besties. Stomach's growling and my head hurts. I need food. <laughs> I'm now in Starbucks. I got a lot of this table. I kind of want to make it because I don't like sitting in the corner. This isn't enough like, space for me to work, so I'm probably going to move to this. But I got a butter croissant, sausage egg, and cheddar sandwich. Y'all know the drill. And then we have a toasted white mocha with extra caramel drizzle, whipped cream, and substitute the hot sprinkle sparkles. I don't know what the fuck those are. you have airpods and noise cancellation it sounds like you're talking way louder than you actually are so i was just saying basically for my portfolio check i forgot that i had to make a video that it kind of took me by surprise um i could have sworn i was yelling this in the starbucks but that's basically what i said in this part so i'm just gonna cut it out um so 
yeah that's that's what was happening your honor narrate what was happening um basically what i was saying was that i was simply just outlining my video so when i went home to film it um it was all ready to go and i was outlining it based on the actual submission details and guidelines on the rubric instead of the assignment guidelines because sometimes some of my teachers put unnecessary assignment guidelines so i just like to go based off the submission rubric um that's all i said so ever wonder how i do my project that's how <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I just got out of Starbucks and I didn't realize how long I was there for. It's now 1.27. I'm just getting out of Starbucks and I finished mostly everything I had to do. There's like one more part on my portfolio that I'm gonna go ahead and add in. It's not a requirement or anything, but I feel like it's just a nice little touch outside of the page that I showed y'all that I was doing. Um, so I'm gonna do that when I get home. I got a lot done. I got mainly almost everything done that I had to do for school today. Today is like an easier day regarding my list of to-dos because I'm trying to get myself in the routine of easing myself into, hold on, my camera's on. But I'm trying to get myself into the habit of just really easing into the week because if you know me like personally or anything like that, or just like you've watched me for a while, usually when I have to-dos, I tend to overload myself on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Getting that like it's okay to do stuff on like Thursday, Friday, or the weekends or stuff like that. And like, yeah, it's nice to take a break, but I'd rather do a little list of to-dos every day than jam pack three, four days out of my week when I could just spread it out better so I won't be as tired. So I started doing that this week. This is like the first week I'm implementing it. And considering December and January is going to be such a big month for me, like student-wise, content, career-wise, there's just a lot going on this month so i really needed to um, learn how to spread it out a little bit better and i feel like i'm doing a really good job so far like it's already 1 30 i'm almost done with everything i have to do do you know how much free time i'm gonna have <laughs> i know my boyfriend didn't put brent fires on this playlist what are you trying to say i know you're watching this so i okay funny story so i've been streaming this playlist that my boyfriend made for me first got together back in the summertime it's like 27 hours um it's taking me forever to get through it because it's 27 hours long and basically he put music for me that he liked on there and then music he knows I like on there so it's not like just completely new stuff so it feels like you know if I want to listen to something new there's a bunch of new stuff on there that he want me to listen to and I just realized that he put Brent Fayez on here you don't listen to Brent Fayez who told you are you trying to say that I'm toxic because I'm not to you <laughs> but anyway um I just got to the house so that's always fun <laughs> exact time because i checked my phone but it's around 2 p.m right now i'm about to go ahead and film that video for that assignment that i was talking about earlier you know for like the 50th time i'm gonna film that and then i'm just gonna go ahead and turn that in because it's why would i wait to turn it in tomorrow at nine when i know damn well i'm not gonna get up early to turn it in because i don't have to be on campus tomorrow okay, i was supposed to film a sit down video today but i'm kind of like tired <laughs> and i don't want to like front like i don't want to sit up here and film a sit down video i don't want to film because i just don't feel like filming it you're giving me all the kissies thank you for the kissies probably just gonna play with cashew okay you never lick my face did you miss me that much And just like that, assignment was successfully submitted, beloved. Pretty much finished all my to-dos for today. The last couple things I have to do is clean my room and bathroom because I didn't get to do my Sunday reset routine this week because I was at my boyfriend's house all day Sunday. 
<laughs> cute excuse i know i want to clean my room i want to do my laundry i don't know if y'all saw this morning like based on the where i placed the camera and how it was zoomed in i opened the dryer to find my clothes on top of it my sister just put them there and i didn't know she put them there yeah so i want to do my laundry i want to clean my room and clean my bathroom you know just kind of get this week started on a good note um i'm gonna try to do better with filming the end of my days usually feels up to me i'd stop right now but bitch y'all are seeing weeks every day every day every day y'all will be seeing me which is crazy also i'm debating if i should vlog sundays or give myself a day off i'm probably gonna give myself a day off y'all didn't ask but anyway Stopping cleaning so I can do a Princess Polly unboxing. So, I got four things from Princess Polly. The thing I got was this basic mock neck white long sleeve crop shirt because I couldn't find mine from the garage. I think I gave it away on accident. How many times I've done that? I got some leather pants. Is this the best outfit choice considering it's about to be cold as shit? No. But I feel like these can definitely jazz up an outfit, especially with the basic t-shirt. Ah, uh, like this in itself, an outfit. Okay, maybe not an outfit, we can add some jackets and stuff, but that doesn't matter. You get what I'm trying to say. So, the next thing I got, also I'm gonna put the sizes and stuff on the screen. Next thing I got, your girl got a fucking trench coat. Okay, so I obviously had this with the intention of this being like one of my win like winter coats, but baby, this is thin as hell. Like, you hear that? It's thin as hell, but it's cute. Yeah. And then the last thing, where's the, oh. And the last thing I got was this big ass chunky sweater, like a mock neck cream beige sweater so cute for the holidays so i'm gonna try on all this stuff and then we're gonna give our final thoughts on the pieces of course All right, so I'm here to give you just the update. You know the vibe. Finished cleaning my room for the most part. I just took out the trash with Cashew. Here's some footage of that. <laughs> Basically, the only couple things that I have to do is vacuum my room. And then my boyfriend's coming over today because I just randomly decided since I have no food, we should go out to eat. I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow with him, I think. So you guys are going to see him tomorrow. Hopefully, we have to see. No promises. Things usually change at this house. But basically, the only things that I have to do now is get that box in my car because it's going to Goodwill. It's like 420. So I'm probably just going to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. And uh, my Wi-Fi is acting up. But I am posting today. Um, I have a sponsor vid that just got approved. So I'm posting today at 6 p.m. So you guys are going to see all that fun stuff because I have to do the tags and stuff like that. So that's probably what I'm going to do in my free time now. Yeah, that's currently just what I'm doing right now. Nothing too special, you know, just kind of going with the flow. And yeah, I just want to let you guys know that because I'm trying to get into this habit of not like randomly like randomly wanting to stop talking at like four o'clock i noticed at like four i didn't say any words for like an hour so i was like maybe i should talk so that's why i put on the camera and start talking so yeah i'm gonna go ahead watch some youtube um get this youtube video ready vacuum and i'll see you guys in a little bit i guess two hours later We were gonna go to Shake Shack, so I busted out my camera because I was like, oh my gosh, let's vlog. I turn my camera on, I look at my viewfinder, and I look like I just got my ass beat. How, you're wondering? I don't know. 
So I call my mom. She told me to take Benadryl. So I have an hour top to not be asleep. But we're still gonna go to Shake Shack. Which is just more melatonin in your food. Exactly. So take me out at 7.45 instead of 8. I got Berea tacos for dinner. They were spicy today. And then while I was eating or after I was eating, I only had one taco. I scratched my waterline. So I guess there was like seasoning on my fingernail. And now my eye itches. My sister laughed at me. Not my older sister. She doesn't know. My younger sister laughed at me because I called her. I'm going to go to Shake Shack. It looks so much worse on camera than it is in person. Somebody said a high tombstone. I wouldn't say that. It was happening. It wasn't. It wasn't. He looks like he's named Frank. Is it supposed to look high? That boy fried. We still love you through all your flaws. His eyes was red as hell. Oh. <laughs> See, she gets it. She said it looks like a fish. It looks relevant. That's what it was yeah, for. it looks relevant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I personally <laughs> love the yellow touch that you put in the background. You know what's it so bad? It added some pizzazz. Uh, can I get two sausage McMuffins? No way. No egg. Hello. Uh, can I get a hash brown? Mm -hmm. uh, then can I get two sausage McGriddles? Sausage McGriddles? Yes, ma'am. Hello. A medium caramel frappe with extra caramel. A uh, medium caramel frappe with extra caramel. Hello. That's it. All right, your total comes to 1328. I get the same thing every time I come to McDonald's, and it's never the same price. What's up with that? Some days I come and get my order and it's like five dollars and then the other days will be like eight or nine. Good morning everybody. The time is currently 11 12 a.m. and I'm about to get started with my day for today um i have just like a few minor things to do today i can't remember if i said yesterday that i wanted to film a video but i'm not gonna film that video this week anymore just because i don't feel like it i'm not about to force myself to do things i don't feel like doing so on today's agenda i'm just gonna read the calendar today i'm going to do some assignments for spanish and then i'm also going to uh film my organized chaos podcast episode 11 that's my podcast my patreon if you're interested it's always linked down below if you want to join it. We have a $3, $5, and $8 tier. All the information of what the tiers hold and what you can get out of them are down there. I'm out of a video going live today that I have to make a thumbnail for. And then I'm going grocery shopping with my boyfriend later because y'all saw yesterday I have nothing to eat. Like there's not shit in this house for me to eat. And I don't feel like eating out because I want to save money for Christmas gifts, giveaways for this month potentially. I'm going to go ahead and start with my podcast. And I usually like to plan my podcast and what I'm talking about in my notability. I I have like a Patreon section. I just write what I want to talk about in there for this process. I just look up some current events that happen and then talk about them in the podcast and like my views and stuff and whatever. It's always fun. I, I love doing this. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite times out of the week. There's hasn't been a lot going on. So the episodes have been a little shorter than what the girlies are used to. I, tr I used to try to make these bitches like 40 minutes long, but now I realize like there's no need for that. Just say what you have to say and keep it pushing, you know? Y'all gonna get the aesthetic look of how I get my podcast ready. Merry Christmas! Now that that is done, it's time for me to get ready to go to the grocery store. So I ended up changing my outfit. Um, I kept my shirt, but I now just have on these black sweatpants from Pretty Little Thing. This shirt 
is from Bape, and my shoes are some shadow ones. My boyfriend told me to wear these ones today, and I never wear them, so I figured I would bust them out for a special occasion, like going to the grocery store. Um, I think I'm gonna keep my hair up today, and I'm probably just gonna throw on that Nike jacket I had from yesterday. We're about to head to my boyfriend's house, back to my boyfriend's house, so I can pick him up so we can go grocery shopping. I love going grocery shopping. My least favorite part is simply just paying for it. I don't know what my vendetta is against paying for groceries but i needed to chill out i think today i'm gonna use my playboy backpack as like my purse because i don't feel like carrying around my mark jacobs and the outfit i have on right now just doesn't really give mark jacobs like at all i need this i need my camera batteries okay i need my good batteries so all my good batteries i'm also gonna bring my small camera i don't know how much i'm gonna use it but i want to bring it just in case i want to you know not take this big ass camera inside trader joe's or Publix, even though they don't really fucking care here i swear that's like a california thing because there has only been like i don't think i've ever been asked to stop recording anywhere other than like a major city now that i think about it i think that is a fact instead of fiction because if you go anywhere in charlotte nine times out of ten they're not gonna give a fuck if you're filming let's go ahead go get my boyfriend from his house and i'll see you guys in a little bit We just got back to the house, um, and since, I'm just gonna show you what we got from the store while they tussle in the back. All right, so first thing, this is not for me. For That's me. for him. Um, but anyway, I then proceeded to get this big ass piece of skin on salmon. It's salmon with the skin on it. I've never had a piece of salmon this big that I have to cook, so that should be fun to tussle with. And then, I'm gonna make shrimp tacos one of these days, so I got these small raw shrimp with the tail on. Oh, that means you get to come over to help me take them off. That's so great, I <laughs> love it. And then I needed some eggs because I'm like 99% sure the ones I have in the fridge are expired. And then I got some potatoes because I feel like I need to broaden my potato palette outside of fries, so that's why those are there. I then decided to get some broccoli because broccoli might be my favorite vegetable. And then I also got green beans that I'm going to treat as a side to my salmon when I do make it. She makes amazing green beans. Thank you very much. Bacon for breakfast. Um, I can't make eggs, so I am on my journey of learning how to make eggs along with rice because I can't make white rice either. I don't know what the issue is, what the deal is, but we're gonna try. Okay, and then we got two things of hot dog buns because I'm making chili tonight. You can't, I mean, you could eat the chili that I make by itself, but that's no fun. They're terrible. One of the best cereals I ever created. Followed, I mean, following Frosted Flakes and then following the Pebbles no, and Honey Nut pebbles, Cheerios. Cinnamon Post Crunch, then Frosted Flakes. I got some bananas because bananas are good for you. I'm tired of the banana slander every time I log into any social media app. I got one cucumber because, huh? Oh. What? Bananas are nothing. Yes, they are. I be fucking bananas up. I also got a thing of ground beef. More coffee creamer because I'm gonna stop drinking coffee that I buy every day. 
So do you not want me to be great? <laughs> do you not want me to be great? To go with those hot dog buns that we mentioned, I mean that I mentioned earlier, we got the hot dogs to go with it. These are nine times out of ten. I don't get creamer every time I go to the store. Are these still good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that one's nasty. I tried that white chocolate mocha creamer and that shit is gross. I don't like it. And then I got this thing of yogurt because I came to the conclusion that I need to stop buying the single serve. Yeah, because it's not enough. And it's annoying because like I'll try to put granola in it and then I can't get the granola in there because it keeps falling out everywhere. So yes. And then I got a thing of hamburger helper. Oh, I should have got meat for this too, shouldn't I? I was gonna say you should have got meat for both. Yeah. I got tomatoes to eat with ranch, and then I also got some strawberries to put on top of the yogurt, and then I also got some raspberries to put on top of the yogurt. Jalen told me to get this bright and early orange juice. I've never had this brand of orange juice in my life. I've never even heard of it. So if it's nasty, um, I'm giving it to him. It shouldn't, shouldn't they? The last couple things I got, we decided we're gonna have fries tonight as well. So we got um, Checkers Rally's frozen fries. These are not gonna taste anything like the Checkers fries that we got okay. when we went. But you know what? Supporting my favorite fast food place. Then I got two things of the sugar cookies. One with the Christmas tree on it and one with the snowman on it. They're and then, yeah, they're for cashew. You know, I had some of those the other day and they're not as good as I Remember? recall. This is literally Sunny D. That's Sunny D. I don't think it's something. You know how I know? It's bright and early. No. And then the last thing I got, chicken tenderloins, because I'm kind of thinking of making chicken tacos. Um, I'm going to put these away with the cute little time lapse. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Lazy Cooking with Leah. I'm your host Aaliyah Simone and this show is starring Aaliyah Simone in her lazy cooking ways. So today we will be making some crock pot chili. So the first thing I start out with is just one can of Bush's beans in my crock pot. I usually like to do this for about two hours on high and pro tip, I add some water to not only clean out the can but to also not make the chili as thick because that's just not what I prefer and then i like to go in and just add some ground beef to a pot i like to season it with the basics salt pepper italian seasoning garlic powder onion powder and then this trader joe's 21 seasoning it's really good and then i just brown it and then after i brown the meat it doesn't take anything but like eight ten minutes to do everything so while i'm browning I also add in some more seasoning so it's extra season because i don't really add much to the beans but i just pour it in and you're done so I just got extreme like deja vu because I did a week in my life where I sat on this couch a lot. <laughs> last year when I lived in Greensboro. I just feel like it's a full circle moment that like I'm finally back here and at home. Oh. I look crazy, but Good freaking morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. The time is currently 8.20. You're probably wondering, Leah, don't you have class? Don't you have class? You've been saying you have class. I woke up. The email from my professor said class was canceled today. Granny, he has a migraine, so I hope he feels better, but I don't have class today. Oh, yes, baby. I'm about to get up. We're going to make breakfast because I just got up a shit ton of groceries yesterday. I'm going to make coffee. Start our day right and I'm ready for a good fucking time if you are. Cause I know I am. <laughs> Cause it's Christmas. 
about to come up here and give y'all a summary of what today is going to encapture, but then my sister texted me this. Can y'all see it? Your Spotify wrapped is here. Oh my God. Oh my God. My top artists this year in order were Ariana Grande, One Direction, J. Cole, Uzi, and Tyler the Creator. I listened to 78,112 minutes of music. My top genre was dance pop. My top songs in order were Land of the Snake, 630, Point of View, Obvious, and 3435. It makes sense. That was my Spotify wrapped. Um, Y'all should follow me on Spotify. Anybody who was like, we don't want to see your Spotify wrapped. I want to see them. I want to see what you've been bumping. Put me on something. My Spotify wrapped is my favorite time of the year because that's the time that I really like to take time and find new music for the upcoming year um, or just stuff that I want to listen to during December that isn't Christmas strangling my ears 24-7. I love Spotify wrapped. I'm glad. This was my Spotify wrapped outfit. Did y'all like it? I didn't even share my guys' outfit. Say it again because you know you didn't say it right the first time. Correct yourself, ma'am. But I have on these gray jeans, this black top from Princess Polly, and just this oversized flannel from Pretty Little Thing. Probably gonna wear some white vans when I go out today just because my forces are dirty as fuck and somebody made sure to let me know that in my outfits of the week tiktok the other week i just finished eating breakfast today it's a very chill laid back day i didn't have class today so i definitely prolonged my morning routine longer than what it normally is but you've probably seen people are already posting vlogmas videos it's not even 11 o'clock and the girls are already posting vlogmas videos they're like gift ideas and shit i I'm about to do some homework. Also, probably start editing these videos. So, um, we're going to continue with the montage of today just because I know you guys are probably tired of me talking through work and shit like that. Um, but you know what? It's fine. Just an update, I finished pretty much majority of my schoolwork that had to be like turned in. The other stuff that I have to do is just like tweaking around with some projects on my portfolio, which you saw me do. I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, but I basically just had to tweak my portfolio. Then I'm going to do another Spanish section today just because why not? But I totally forgot today is Wednesday and I have like this creator seminar type of thing it's learning basically about more ways to monetize your youtube channel it starts in about 30 minutes but also today i have a weekly updates call if y'all remember my week in my life from when i was in greensboro from last year if you remember that week in my life i had a weekly updates call still at the same time two o'clock on wednesdays where i just talked to my managers i do have to talk to my merch manager i think i'm gonna call her before this little seminar thing starts because why not it's nothing too crazy this is more like the youtube side of things and you know just kind of stuff like that so i think i'm gonna go ahead get logged into the seminar ahead of time just so that i am on time i don't forget i don't know why it wasn't on my calendar but i also today have a planned parenthood appointment so that's fun which i also forgot about and this is why you put things on your calendar love my spam account if y'all don't follow my spam account you should definitely follow it it's Aaliyah after hours they literally find out everything probably around the same time that patreon subscribers do and if you don't know my patreon is always down below while i wait for my managers to hop on the line for my uh, weekly updates call i'm just gonna accept some follow requests on my spam account just to let y'all in this girl is really pretty i'm following her back I just finished my weekly updates call. We had a big debriefing on my merchandise. What happens next? What are we gonna do? Might switch vendors. I don't know. We have to see. I talked about how much uh, you guys wanted the price to be lowered as well. So I definitely wanted to, you know, 
bring that to you guys attention because i do talk to them um consistently about this stuff i just want y'all to know i do hear y'all's feedback on the merchandise and I, it does get implemented i can't share all the details of course because you know stuff changes as time goes on but i do want y'all to know that you're heard especially when it comes to buying things from me as a consumer because you're trusting me with your money for quality and um reasonable prices and i feel like we can definitely you know improve as we go I was literally just about to head to Target so we can start Christmas decor shopping for my bedroom, but the post office had other plans. But first things first, we must do a haul. Let's open this package from the garage. Okay, so first thing I got was this army green twisty front shirt. It's one of those shirts that just twist in the front. <laughs> and it's like a long sleeve crop shirt. The garage is literally one of my favorite clothing stores ever. The stuff just fits me so well, and the quality is good, everything wash is good. Ooh, we have a shit ton of stuff to get through, ladies and gentlemen, because it's for good reason, and it's for content. The first thing that I decided to get from Garage was just this pair of boot cut brown sweatpants. Isn't this brown such a beautiful color? And they are just regular boot cut at the bottom, and at the end, they just have like a cutting off point, and there's some strings in there. I'm gonna put the sizes and stuff, um, and prices, maybe. Sizes for sure, prices, I don't know, on the screen, and there is a pocket on the back. How cute, I love that. And then I decided to get something a little bit more out of my comfort zone. I don't know how to feel about this, but this is my take on like the color blocking trend. It's just this black, white, and gray patchwork crew neck. Nothing too crazy. Something to wear like around the house or something. And then I got just a regular brown cropped long sleeve shirt because I love the way I look in brown. I think it's one of my most flattering colors. I think brown looks good on everybody, but this shit is a staple. Garage has all the best like basics and neutrals ever. So if you're ever looking for basic and neutrals that will last you forever, Garage is the place. I've had like cropped t-shirts and long sleeves for like a year, year and a half going on two years. And they are still like really good quality after hella washes, so that's fun. Then I got three new t-shirts. The first t-shirt I got was just this nude brownish shirt. I don't know what's really on it, but this is what it looks like. It looks cool. I was kind of envisioning wearing these with these brown sweats or whatever. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I got this white t-shirt with, I think this is like the Brooklyn Bridge. It's some bridge on here, but I really like t-shirts with the faded print, so I went ahead and got these. These are all like boyfriend tees, so they're gonna be a little oversized on me, which is my always desired look. And then I got this brown boyfriend t-shirt with this design on it, so cute. As you can see, I'm going through my neutrals phase head on. I think this is my second haul this week. You're gonna get like four more, um, because I have a lot to show you. I just feel like it's stingy of me to tell you <laughs> that I got a package and then not tell you what it is. Like that is giving stingy. It's giving, why don't you like to share? If you're my older sister watching this, skip to this time. But if you're not my older sister, you can keep watching because I'm about to show you what I got her for Christmas. My sister's a big Harry Potter fan and she doesn't have all the Harry Potter books. So I decided to get her the entire Harry Potter book collection from book one all the way to seven. And she also said she wants to pick up reading some more. So what better way to do than start with your favorite series, mama? And then I got just a few little camera accessories. I'm gonna show you these. I ended up getting three more batteries for my Canon M50, which I'm filming on right now because the ones I have are kind of drained and really old. They're like almost two years old, I believe. So I just got three more of those because these batteries last a long time. I've changed my battery, I think once today and it's, I've been filming for hours. So yeah. And then I got a new, um, extended tripod I have a tripod for this camera it's like a Canon tripod I saw Alicia Marie talk about it in one of her vlogs and she said she can't live without it but I don't really like it <laughs> so I end up getting just this basic white tripod I've really been digging the like white electronic look or camera look because I've been seeing a lot of the youtubers I watch like Melanie Cruz um, and a few other creators I watch that I just really like their white you know kind of camera and equipment so I I decided instead of you know selling and rebuying all my equipment for white ones because that's a waste of money time and shipping I decided to get white covers for all my cameras and all my accessories so that's fun and fresh we have an official tripod now and I 
had this tripod in black but i lost it <laughs> if i were to tell you how many fucking tripods i had and lost like in the past year you would literally whoop my ass show you what it looks like on the camera ah, that's what it looks like it's nothing too special but it really just adds the white feature it's like a beige white instead of like a clean white like it looked like on amazon but as long as i have a tripod i don't care what's going on so like we were doing before to the car i don't know if anybody knows this but i am at the lazy point in my life where I lace all my shoes to where I could just slip my foot in and don't have to tie them up on the way out because Lord knows I'll be in a rush and the only way for me to get where I need to go on time is if my shoes are locked and loaded and ready to go and then people wonder why I wear Crocs all the time because I could really just slip them bitches on and go but I can't do that with all my other shoes but I managed to find a way to do that with my other shoes and that is by lacing them up. Okay, now we can leave. <laughs> Bye, Angel. Bye, Cashew. Bye, Cashew. I love you. Bye, Bubba. Oh, who is that? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Shit. I just locked myself out the house. Damn. This can't be real life, can it? Can it? At least it's not cold. My phone is on five. My boyfriend lives 20 minutes from me. I don't have a car key, but I have my wallet, my camera, and my batteries. Cash is losing his mind. I'll update y'all when he gets here. In my backyard, sitting. I never thought there would be a use to these chairs, but I stood corrected. Getting a little chilly. I don't know what time it is, because my phone died. How's your day going? <laughs> 12 seconds later. I'm not outside anymore. I'm in my car. Um, I'm still locked out. You know we still can't get in until yeah, my sister sure, gets home. Sure. So, so it's 5.08 so. um, now. We're in the Target parking lot. My phone died we were out there. We. <laughs> While I was out there fighting for my life. Second time you done came to this spot. In a video or in general? In a video. So. Here. Cashew would like this, don't you think? Oh wait, no. I would like this one. Is it worth it? No. They're fifteen dollars. Look. See, this could go in my room. Everybody keeps asking me, oh my gosh, where you get the air fryer? Target. It's Christmas section. What are you rushing to? <laughs> Oh, I need wrapping paper. I don't know what wrapping paper I want to get this year. This is Merry Christmas. This one shit my mom would get. <laughs> Look at it. <gasps> these are black. Wait. I like these better. There is dust where the ornaments are supposed to be. You think Cash would tear this up? I'll put that on the door. How about this one? It's perfect. It's a cashew tree. Take that one back. Put this back? Okay, that's all. Because this Target isn't giving. I was supposed to go to the Target downtown because they have everything, but they don't have shit. She is having fun today. <laughs> you think a little sniff was going to stop me from doing what I got to do? It's been coughing it up at... I'm sick. Um, Cashew. Sit up. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I thought my boyfriend was dying and then I stayed home all day. And now I'm sick because Cashew was sick. It's 9.30 and I've wheezed like four times. I talked to my dad last night and I said, how do you get rid of a cold in 24 hours? Because I started feeling bad at like six. My throat started hurting last night and it was all scratchy. So I had drink thermo thermo Thermoflu tea and that helped for like an hour and he was like um Tylenol severe cold or flu so we got all the ones except the nighttime bottle I was sick for like almost two weeks around Halloween um so I've had enough I've had enough I don't want to be sick anymore throat is scratchy I'm stuffy 
I'm wheezing from walking from my bed to my bathroom. Last night was one of the worst sleeps I've had in a hot minute since I was sick in October. I woke up at three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, and then seven. Why, and you know what I woke up to do? Cough. Oh, I was sick. I was sick. Now, what I was doing yesterday, we're gonna do between today and tomorrow. So between today and tomorrow, we're gonna go shop for more Christmas decor. I have to take the stuff out the attic to see what I have before. The stuff is in the attic. We're gonna put up the tree in my room and then we're gonna put up the tree downstairs because my sister wanted to do it last weekend, but I came home late on Sunday. I talked about that earlier this week. We're supposed to do it that day, but she tapped out. I got back at like seven o'clock and nobody wanna put up the tree. So we're gonna do that between today and tomorrow, bro. This is why I'm doing weekly vlogs, so if I'm sick, I don't miss a day. I need to eat breakfast. You know what that means? I'm gonna eat hash browns. I'm probably gonna eat hash browns and yogurt, but we have to see. Also, me and Cashew finished that big-ass tub of yogurt, so I had to get some more from Instacart last night. But, um, I'm gonna go downstairs to get breakfast because I'm hungry. Being sick, I never stopped the thing. I'll be right back. I know I'm gonna I mean, get it. In your, uh, Glasses? Yeah. That's a piece of hair. Um, I wish the four. I mean, like, okay. I just left Bath and Body Works and spent, what, $90? Yeah. $80? 87 When it should have been 130 I'm very happy. I'm not going to have to buy candles for, like, another six months. I'm very excited. You got a Christmas present. My mom got a Christmas present. Shit, my dad might even have a Christmas present. He don't even like candles. Now, we're going to downtown. I've been downtown in a while. Uh, because they have the best Target down there and they also have this store called at home which has like a bunch of Christmas decor I'm not gonna get too much because I have enough for my room I'm really worried about the house because I had an apartment this time last year so I shopped for apartment amount of decor but now we have like a townhouse so we're gonna go there you're having fun with that aren't you <laughs> I was so and we'll be back <laughs> Head what? what? <laughs> My head is not bobbing. Shut up! I need a Christmas tree. Why are you touching it? Huh? What do you mean? Why am I touching them? You act like you can't get a tree. You have to act like you know. Get in front of the pick. I mean, in front of the. Can we get a tree like this when we move? Yeah. In the house. The forehead is shiny. Huh? Nothing. Why is everything cleared out? They're shatterproof. That's nice. It's $5. I'm just trying to figure out when can everybody come in. Clear this bitch up? Yeah. Oh no, they need to do some restocking. Though. Like, what is going on, y'all? Every section on it? This is cute. For downstairs. So I don't really want to get this one thing. Yeah. It's pretty. Does he feel pain when I back to What am I gonna do when he me? I find out it's a Later. Long time. No freaking see. So hi everybody. I've been editing for about five hours now. So I decided to take a break and show you guys everything that I got in the mail from the store. It's just everything like that. So when we decorate tomorrow in between today, there is something to look forward to. You guys know what I'm putting out and where I got it from in case you want to go, you know, get it yourself. So I'm going to start with the first Target run that me and my boyfriend did. Um, For some reason, all the Targets and just like stores for Christmas decor 
are out of stock of literally everything and we went to at home earlier today which you guys saw and the lady was like everything was gone on black friday and i totally forgot black friday was a thing because these can't be the black friday sales that y'all are stabbing people over but i digress let's start with the first target run so the first thing that i got from the first target run was just this gift wrap set with a bunch of bows wrapping paper and tags because y'all know i am lazy when it comes to wrapping gifts if you've been watching my vlogmas for the past couple years i'm not the best at it but these are all cohesive i can wrap everybody's gifts in different wrapping and i know exactly whose is who so this is really cute and i adore this i think this was only like ten dollars for everything and it comes with tags bows and four different wrapping papers definitely love that purchase then the next thing i got was just this red and black bucket holder i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but i got it and then the next thing i let my boyfriend pick out for me was this snowflake mini waffle maker i feel like this entire week we haven't been getting too much into the christmas spirit so just a little way that i feel like we can do so is making some snowflake waffles because i feel like i make some bomb ass waffles but y'all have to tell me whenever we decide to make them and then just to get a little bit more into the spirit, I got three more pairs of socks. There's these, these are all crew socks, I believe. And each of these, bitch, each pair of these were $5. I just had a stroke realizing how much these were all together. The first pair was just this Santa pair. It's gray and red. And then the second pack are these sloths on a wreath. And then the third pair is just reindeers with headphones on. I'm a whore for a good sock, what can I say? And then the next thing that I got, I also got some gift tags that are like stickers instead of like tags that flat all over the gift because I personally like the way stickers look more but tags sometimes add more and there's 90 in here so I'll be good with gift tags for literally until I'm 65 and then the next thing I got dad if you're watching this please click over this this is your Christmas gift so I don't want you to figure it out I got my dad the Fast and Furious 8 movie collection because he adores the Fast and Furious movies so this is Christmas gift from me and my sisters the next thing that I got was just this white red and gray throw blankets for my room slash for casual to use because I love a good throw blanket to decorate for Christmas and I feel like this is such a cute addition to the room. My room's pretty neutral as it is but I definitely feel like adding a cute little throw can definitely spice it up and do a lot and change a lot when it comes to the Christmas spirit. And then my big thing that I got from the first Target run was this Christmas tree. It's kind of big so I'm gonna try to show it as best as I can but this is the Christmas tree I ended up getting this year for my bedroom. It just has like this brown wig you know basket it's a fake tree and it has like fake snow and stuff on it and then to match with the tree i decided to get the matching wreath to go with it so you can see the kind of green wintry snow vibe that we have going on for my room this year i feel like these are super duper cute and i i love them i i love these two together i feel like they match perfectly moving on to the next target trip we didn't really get much of the second target trip which you guys saw where we went today but the first thing i got was just a stocking with my boyfriend's initial on it why wouldn't i do that it's also gonna be matching with me and caches that i got from last year got two things of christmas ornaments these little mini silver bulb ornaments were only five dollars each and we got them to decorate this tree right here i feel like it's gonna look so cute whenever i decide to put them up probably between today and tomorrow on to what we got from at home at home once again a lot of the christmas stuff was gone so i just picked up what i could the first thing i got was just this merry christmas pillow this completes me in ways that i never thought i would imagine i love this pillow i don't know how much this pillow was but it was definitely worth it whatever it was okay if it was a hundred dollars that's not worth it but like i feel like this was like 10 15 dollars and it's so cute just has merry christmas red low truck with the christmas tree on the back then it has kind of the candy cane red and white framing and it's like a canvas pillow it's so cute and the next thing i got for our kitchen sink was just this candy cane scented hand soap this isn't from the christmas section but it was just this uh set of kitchen towels and they're red gray and white there's some striped ones there's a plain red one and a plain gray one and quite frankly we lose our our dish towels all the time in this house so it was time to re-up anyway so you might as well make them christmas themed and then the last thing that i got from at home was this is hanging little sign and it said have yourself a merry little christmas not exactly where i'm gonna put this in this house or if i'm gonna put it in my room but i feel like this is adorable and i just really love christmas wall decor i feel like it's not too much but it adds something like it just makes such a big difference oh my gosh i also forgot that i went to bath and body works today let me show you all the candles that i got because lord have mercy 
I went to Bath and Body Works because it's candle day and this is my favorite day to get candles because these three wood candles are literally so fucking expensive without discount. They're like $25, $30 and for what? So the first two candles, Mahogany Teak Wood is one of my all time favorite scents so I had to get one of those and I also got a Mahogany Teak Wood High Intensity because if I want the whole house to smell like man, now I can let that happen, duh. And then the next candle I got was for my boyfriend for Christmas. It's this Sugar Lemon Zest. He loves this scent. It smells like fresh, clean, Mr. Clean bathroom. So good. I understand the hype, okay? And then a little Christmas themed candle I got was just Sweater Weather, which is a OG on this channel. And then the next thing that I got was just this vanilla balsam scent. I really like the can that it's in, and I've never got that scent before, so it's definitely something new, and I love the way it smells. And then I got this black teak wood. It's like the mahogany teak wood, but something's a little bit different, and plus the packaging is more like decorated. I don't know if you could see from back here, but it has like, it's like marble. I really like the marble on it. And then I got Give Peace. I can't really explain the scent, but this shit smells good. I'm terrible at explaining like scents and aromas, so bear with me. And then the last thing I got was Midnight Snow, which is another new scent for me this Christmas. So now that you guys know that I have a candle addiction, I'm for real gonna go to the editing room now and I will see you guys in a little bit. get this night routine rolling it's literally like nine o'clock is it nine o'clock it's 907 getting ready to go to bed give a old lady so i randomly got in one of those moods where i simply did not feel like talking so i decided to show you guys my night routine for the night i literally have to take a shower every night before i go to bed or else i feel funky and then usually when i get out the shower i watch some youtube um do my skincare put on some comfy clothes you know the vibes if you want to know my routines and stuff that's what the hygiene routine is for hello a new one's gonna be coming this month by the way if you want to know my winter one but um i decided to clean up all this christmas shit from the middle of my room because it was just taking up too much space and honestly i was getting annoyed at how cluttered my room was which is why i'm gonna be deep cleaning my room tomorrow you guys will see that but i tried to figure out a place for that christmas tree uh couldn't find one so i said fuck it and since i still wasn't feeling too well i decided to take some theraflu night so it can help me get through the night then i just spent some time with cashew and then i ended my night with just editing this video and after this i didn't film i brushed my teeth and put my retainers in and went to bed good morning happy saturday today shall be filled with cleaning decorating cooking so let's get into it Cleaning update somewhere. Well, it looks like we haven't gotten anywhere, but it's a lot better. And I put my shoe rack back in its closet where it belongs, so I really like this shelf right here. This shelf is really nice. Anyway.
I finally finished cleaning my bedroom. It took three hours, but we're done. All my clothes are clean, vacuumed, I sprayed, but there's one last thing that you have to do when it comes to cleaning, and you already know what it's gonna be. You already know how I'm coming. So Casher just threw up. Um he just gagged and nothing came out. Are you okay? I just gave Cashew some yogurt. He's not really eating it. I guess see he ate something this morning that his stomach just really didn't enjoy or he was choking. At least Cashew isn't one of those dogs that eats his vomit because that's absolutely disgusting. I am here to say that it is currently 124 and I am about to start decorating my room for the Christmas season. I have my candle going. I have my Christmas decor stored away um, but everything is in its rightful place. The one big like sore stick out thing is that big ass box that y'all saw over there. I moved it to over here because it literally just has Christmas presents in it and the last thing that I'm gonna do while I decorate is is wash cashews things I usually wash all his toys and stuff at the beginning of the month so I'm just gonna throw all that in the washer and then dry it and then put it back and then he's gonna be good to go for the month I like to sanitize this stuff as well cuz you just you just never know so I'm gonna throw that in the washer off camera and then we're gonna start decorating so I'll see you guys in like five ish minutes if that's okay with you cuz it's okay with me I ended up deciding it's rude. I ended up deciding to put my tree right here next to my entertainment center. If you see my room tour, you know exactly where this is located. Please excuse the X and Y axis that is on my face. I have blinds and windows. I can't really assist with that. Here's my tree in all her glory. Isn't she so cute? I'm about to go ahead and start hanging up ornaments. I'm about to do the hard part, which is tying on these dumbass strings. I don't know why we all just haven't converted to hooks, aka like paper clips, because these, I can't stand these. But they look so much better, but they take so much time to put on. Can I even untie them? Do the time lapse. clothing hauls can one fit in a vlogmas series you're wondering let's put it to the test this year with me i pretty little thing package now i can make my outfits that my clothing is here a cute little haul while we in the middle of decorating cash is very interested in what i have as you can see i don't know where to start okay first thing this is a bodysuit sometimes with pretty little thing they try to rush your package out and it gets here mad fast but all the shit in there isn't what you ordered so i'm gonna make sure this is everything i ordered um this is very see-through y'all could see me through it probably gonna return this but it's a cute bodysuit i just feel like i don't know i don't know it's just a little see-through that's the only thing i'm worried about i'll try it on off camera um and based on if i wear it again or not y'all will know so it sounds like you're gonna have to tune back in mama so then the next thing i got was just this matching sand set um i got these ribbed leggings i usually am not a fan of ribbed leggings but these look so flattering and the color is just to die for um these are the stone structured contour rib leggings and a small me personally sometimes with pretty little things my sizes like aren't consistent so I'm gonna have to try these on um, just to make sure they fit. And then I got the matching just long sleeve shirt. These with some Yeezy slides, the ultimate loungewear fit, I fear. These are just regular, I believe kind of sweatpants. Oh, these are like gray yoga pants, but there's like a ripped hem or a cut hem on the side or the front. Yeah, it's the side. High-waisted, they're ribbed, they're pretty stretchy. Um, these are actually really good quality, like for pretty little thing. I'm definitely gonna keep try to keep those and then the next thing I got okay I got another pair of leather pants so I can have more than one pair but the difference between these and the ones from Princess Polly is that these once again have a hem 
tear on the side so if i want to wear some heels or some sneakers all other pants smell the same like glue but if i want to wear some heels or some sneakers you'll be able to emphasize them i will say the only thing is that there's no zipper or kind of button to button these up they're just like sweatpants pants where you just kind of pull them up like even sweatpants have like a tie the next thing i got was just this is this just a regular gray sweatshirt yeah this is just a regular gray sweatshirt i don't remember ordering this the quality's good <laughs> the quality is really good what size is this it's a size us2 so i don't remember ordering this i'm definitely gonna have to go over my order um because I don't, I don't remember ordering that. Do I remember ordering this? They're missing like half my order, I feel. Yeah, they're missing like half my order. But anyway, um, and then I decided to get this puffer jacket. It's from their petite collection. The sleeves look mad short, but this color is so cute. Okay, so this is actually an order that I ordered on november 20 something this isn't my black friday order this is another thing that i just randomly purchased before um so they got everything right in this order i'm still waiting on my black friday order did i order a black puffer i don't think i ever ordered a black puffer which is annoying so i'm gonna have to order a black puffer um probably from zara or something but uh this is from way before cyber monday and it came here two days late so um that's everything i got i'm kind of annoyed because i just did laundry it's fine i digress i'm about to try all this stuff on and we're gonna keep going without our day or throughout our day I just emailed Pretty Little Thing. I was, in fact, correct. They did, in fact, forget my black puffer jacket in which I ordered. So I went to go see if I could get a refund, you know, kind of order it again to make sure I get it. Sold out. I ordered this, like, three weeks ago. Sold out. So I'm about to fight for this black puffer because I cannot find one anywhere and i'm about to show my ass to get a black puffer they have a north face one 250 dollars it's not happening everywhere is sold out of my size amazon has shitty quality i'm not putting the kids to work at sheen i just can't i can't i just want my black puffer that's what i want for christmas a black puffer jacket walking in a rain with my tims on into step over puddles of pain and my puffer jacket i know my cousins in new york are laughing at all of us right now cashew is liking the tree though y'all remember how he was gagging and all that yeah he pooped shortly after i think something really upset his stomach i don't know what happened but he's okay now right papa you okay are you okay you okay